What's up, you guys? Today, we're going to talk about voicings. To be more specific, 251 voicings. So, uh, let's take 251s. And the reason why I'm always talking about 251s is because a lot of our um, building blocks and jazz is built off of this 251. So, um, it's important that you have some uh, some tools of how to maneuver through some 251. Okay, so um, let's say we're doing the key of C, right? And a lot of times what happens is they see a two, five, one um, in books or other places, they give you two positions, which is this. That's the two, that's the five, one. And then they usually tell you to do that in the left hand, two, five, one, okay? Or they give you the uh, other position, which is here based on the seventh at the bottom. That's two, five, one, okay? Those sounds, those, those things sound nice. A lot of times as you first learn jazz, those are the first voicings that you will learn. If you don't know what that is, definitely rewind the video, slow it down. I'm not gonna talk about it because my assumption is that you do know it. Um, and maybe I would talk about that another day. But today I wanna kind of expand off of that with the assumption that you know these voicings here or these voicings, I should say, I kind of got from Bill Evans. Um, and in particular, a, spe a specific spot, we hear this a lot, actually, um, and a lot of playing. Um, but I'm trying to think of where can I pull this from. So it's from his um, album, Bill Evans Trio at the Village Vanguard. Um, the particular song is My Romance. And at the very beginning, um, he used this voicing. Um, so we're just going to listen to it a couple of times and then I'm going to uh, show you guys what he did. Just that much. I'm playing it. That little, that little bit is what we want. So what's going on? The beginning of the song, he's kind of starting off. Um, it's like a two five. But he didn't play that. Something like that, right? All right. So what is that? Okay, so let's analyze that. And then I'm going to get into the exercise of how to explore this and put this into your own playing. So if we look at it, this is a common thing, which is to do like a pedal point. So instead of going to telegraphing, I always call it, I don't, I don't like to telegraph my chords, meaning um, you see my chords coming. You see where I'm going to go. I like to kind of be unpredictable. The chord or the lead sheet probably on my romance um, or how we would want to start it off is the two, five, one. So the natural assumption would be to play a two in the bass, which is a D, which means the key of C, and play this voicing. And we can, it's not wrong. But here he starts off here with this G. Okay. And if we know our key, the G is the five. One, two, three, four, five. So, so now you got that voicing, right? So it gives it a different, different feel. It's like a pedal point. We already starting at the five, but in our, we look at our right hand, this is the same voicing that you had here. So this is actually functioning as the two. All right. Another cool thing that he did here is that he dropped, it's like a drop two voicing in a sense, not quite. But instead of playing the C up here, he put the C down here, okay? So he not only have the root, but he has the C, all right? So now we have this nice voicing for the two, but it's over the five here, okay? And then what he did here, this says five because major third of the five here so we have this B natural and then here's the seventh that says dominant and that's like a flat nine okay so you got this nice voicing and then that one so now you have a different way to play two five one okay so let's get to the exercise first understanding how to build it so whatever key that you in you start with the five and then you stack that up with the fourth here so in this case it would be a c and that takes care of your left hand 
Okay. That says that says two. When you're ready to go to the five, it's just a one note movement. You move this note here down a half step. That's your five. Okay. And we're not going to resolve it to the one, but if we were to resolve it to the one, we're just going to add that into it. That would be the one. So two, five. Okay. Let's say we wanted to do this in the key of uh, B flat. So is the five. Let's uh, build it from a fourth up. Okay. Then move that down the half step, like we said. That's two, five. Okay. All right. Back in this hand, remember this hand is going to do like a rootless voicing of a two. So what is the two in the key of B flat? It's a C minor. Okay. Rootless voicing. We're going to build it off the third. The minor third so you're gonna have e flat you're gonna have the g here's the fifth of a c minor and then we're gonna have the ninth remember we're gonna take out the root we're gonna take out the fifth and it's left with that all right and this note this fifth just moves down a half step as it goes to the five all right so um what we're gonna do with this exercise is that we're going to just play the same voicings and move it down um, by whole steps here. So uh, let's actually do that exercise. Let me move myself out the way so you guys can get a full uh, view of this uh, music here. All right. And let me play it. Here we go. Okay, that first one, that first one was just, I didn't do exactly what Bill did, but what I did, which just kind of kept it simple, we just kind of moved the nine to the fifth of the uh, five. And then the, you get the rest of the keys. All right, so this next part, as you guys can see written up here, I got more. This next part, just to make it more interesting, more so what Bill did, instead of just moving one voice, we're gonna move two voices. So we're gonna move here to the flat nine of the five. Let's see, this see this A flat, flat nine of the five. Octave, nine, flat nine, so. All right, so we're not doing, it's basically the same thing, but now I'm just adding uh, the movement of both voices. So I'm gonna move out, my, move myself out the way again, and play that. Here we go. Nice little exercise. So you want to kind of get these in your fingers. You know, be able to start any place and just, and the biggest thing about this is to know what key that you're in. Okay. Um, don't just give it, get it in your fingers. Like know what key you in, know, know what you're doing um, there. Okay. So have fun with that. Um, and um, hopefully, that you guys got something out of this.